talk to you a little bit about how to set up your Lowrance sonar unit uh, for operation for salmon fishing. So we'll take a quick look at it here. I'll give you a quick, couple quick steps. So let's go ahead and get into it. So when you get your Lowrance unit, generally it's going to come in general use. It, it, the boat doesn't, I mean, the unit doesn't know where, what kind of boat it's going to be on. It could be on a bass boat, could be on, you know, an offshore boat. So what, it, what you need to do is just kind of optimize it just a little bit. So when you go in, you're going to see there's some settings in here. The first thing I usually do is come into the unit, go over to your settings, come down to sonar, and you'll see installation. So hit installation, and come down here, and you'll see normally it'll say transducer unknown, or it'll say three and one. It just depends on what tra type transducer you have. So if you don't have one selected, go ahead and select which one you have in here, pick it, go ahead and put it on there. You got quite a selection here. If you don't know for some reason, uh, you can look it up. Just get grab the tag on the back of the transducer, and uh, that'll give you uh, which one it is. You just pick the number, go ahead and select it. So for now, I'm going to leave this one an unknown, and you'll see. Well, we just dropped a downrigger down there. Okay. So the next thing I do is I come over to here, and you'll see it's in mode. The mode is general. Well, general is just a depth setting, so zero to a thousand feet. So what I'm gonna do is narrow that range down and kind of optimize the unit just a little bit. So I'm gonna take this, take it out of general and put it in fresh. Okay, fresh is like zero to 400 feet. And it doesn't mean it won't work if you don't have it in that selection. It's just gonna fine tune it a little bit for the type of fishing we do out here in the Northwest for salmon. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is come in here and go to more options. I'm gonna go to the pallet, okay? It's gonna be in number one normally. All right, I usually come up and select 13. It was already on there. And I just like that a little bit better. It, it's a preference thing, you know, but that's what I run mine on. And then I go ahead and I'll split screen it. Okay, I like to I like to go to zoom over here and then zoom in a little bit on the bottom. Makes it a little easier to see that fish and marks and stuff down there. So that's kind of how I set mine up. And then your frequency, you know, depending on what you have. In this case, this transistor set up for high chirp or 200. I'm just going to leave it in high chirp. That's how that works. So just by doing those few little things, you're going to find that your unit's going to perform quite a bit better and you're going to be able to see quite a few more fish on there. So that was your self patrol tech tip. Uh, hit the subscribe button and we'll send some more to your way. So with that, see you guys out on the water. Thanks a lot for checking it.